Hello, so in this nice sunny morning I just wanted to talk about Black Clover and Fairy Tale. I love both of the shows and I'll try not to make spoilers, it will be more of a description. So first let's start with worlds. So in both Fairy Tale and Black Clover we have magic guilds and people have magic. It's all about magic in both of the shows. Now the differences are to get in a guild in Fairy Tale it's pretty simple and they're very welcoming you. Uh, I just have an uh, impression you can just step in and say oh I want to be in this guild and they will welcome you. And once you join the guild you will find the friends and then together with them you will go to complete the quests and these quests are submitted by a anyone. Anyone can submit the quests and then you will receive rewards and that's how you live. That's what you do for a living. Do quests, get rewards and that's your commission and then pay for rent and just hang out with your friends. Now in Black Clover to get into the guild it's really tough. It's more like a real job and later we'll learn it's because <laughs> probably you actually get monthly salary, so it's more official and it's like government job because you get quests or like tasks, orders from government and your guild master considers with whom you will go with. So in fairy tale, it's more like whoever is your friend, you go with them. But in uh, Black Clover, it's more official, I would say, and it's harder. You You need to pass some exams and some tests and... Uh, also in Black Clover, I I feel it's more, um, it's closer to reality. Probably that's how it was in medieval years <laughs> because it's very discriminative. It, they have social classes. It's if you have more magic, you are higher at social classes. Like royal families, noble families have more magic and they are stronger. And if you don't have magic, you are like lower class and everyone treats you badly. And if you can't get into all these guilds, then you pretty much stay at home in some village and just farm potatoes. That's what you do till the end of your life. Well, actually, I think it's not just one chance. You can retake these exams to get into a guild every year, but still so it's more harsh reality now about guilds itself so fairy tale i mean the show is called fairy tale it's a guild name and it's all about guild and we get introduced to the guild with one of the main characters when she enters the guild she joins the guild i mean and it's such a welcoming place and you're like oh my god i want to be in that guild as well and it's like a lot of fun and some crazy stuff happens, but overall they are very welcoming and nice people. Meanwhile, in Black Clover, it's not like that. And just because I watched Fairy Tale first and I knew how cool it is, and then this character also gets into Guild in Black Clover, main character, and it's like everyone is treating him so badly <laughs> and I was like no so I think overall now if we ask ourselves so if we could join one of the worlds like would you join fairy tale world or black clover well when I first started thinking about this video I thought well fairy tale is like much better it's more fun, it's more colorful, it's more fantasy world. They have some modern technologies as well. And it's like, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it looks better. But... And then I realized how much torture is happening in fairy tale in general. How much people are tortured there. And in comparison in Black Clover, okay, yeah, it's like, you will get flamed or... I roasted or discriminated I don't know like how to say it but yeah people will call you bad names and stuff like that but in the end of the day it doesn't look like uh, I mean it's not shown that people get tortured or like ah uh, I don't know so <laughs> I'm not really sure which world I would join if I had to choose um, because uh, fairy tale it's a pretty scary place especially for females uh, I would say because they get lots of 
torture. <laughs> That's not fun at all. So uh, I don't know. So next topic is characters. Well, in fairy tale we have Erza, and she is my favorite character of all times. And just to give you an idea how much I love Erza, so when I was watching fairy tale, I would sit and just be like, Erza, Erza, Erza. Like that. <laughs> I, I don't know. I never done this before. I never done it after, but. I just I just loved her so much and it was just all about her and it's a lot about her like you would think it's about Natsu because well it's like in this kind of shows they have this one main character but it's not like that in fairy tale and Erza gets so much credit and she does so much and if there was no Erza would I continue watching fairy tale? I think no, because again, when I was thinking about it today, some terrible stuff is happening there. <laughs> and it's not fine. And it's not like, okay, so basically, when I was watching fairy tale, I was closing my eyes about everything because of Erza. Okay, and I had this idea this is how fairy tale was approved to be made into anime or manga or whatever, but this is how it happened. Hmm. She is too strong. Nerve her. No. Then you need to pay the price. Wait. She is too strong. You need to pay more. Wait, she does what? Pay more. So, yes, we are paying a price with a fun service, torture and some fetish, I think. And meanwhile, in Black Clover, there is no fun service. I mean, there is fun service because I think fun service is not just being naked or being having like unrealistic large breast. Um, so in Black Clover, it's actually the best fun service I have ever seen. Now I don't want to spoil you. I I won't say what happens, but can you imagine uh, what can happen to characters to make them more attractive? I I mean I don't know. Uh, not just characters, but like everyone, like what, what could happen that everyone is better, they look better. And this happens in Black Clover and it, it just blew my mind because it was just awesome. So at around episode 44, I almost dropped Black Clover because what happened? Every female character has crush on somebody and usual main characters. So, and it's just, it's just so repetitive, like, they just see this guy and oh my god, and then, like, their whole personality is around liking this one guy, and, okay, so one character is like that, okay, two, then three, then four, so five, five characters, and they are all falling in love with the main characters, and that's what they do. Uh, and they also have some repetitive lines. They can repeat the same thing. Like, don't call me sister. Okay, sister. Don't call me sister. Okay, sister. And it just repeats like uh, 20 times. And it's like, okay. <laughs> and well, what I like in Black Clover, first thing is their combos. So combat, I have never seen anywhere like that because they never fight alone. And it's like a mix of different skills different characters have and they work together and the skills are amazing. The magic they have, like, it's always introduced something new and I just love that so much. It's not just damage dealing. In fairy tale, we have some characters who do healing, who do buffs, but it's very minor and usually all of them are focused to 
deal the damage to attack the enemy. And in Black Clover, it's always a teamwork, like they have better teamwork because they have different roles and it's done amazingly. <laughs> and I think it has more logic behind it. Like, it makes sense when you watch it. Oh, okay, so they did this, they did this. Okay, yeah, it totally makes sense. And Black Clover is also very fast-paced, I, I would say. And for this reason, you just start to think, well, did they really think too much about characters? Because, for example, okay, so some characters need a um, side backstory, right? Now, in fairy tale, you get whole arc about the characters. It will be like 25 episodes about one story of one character. In Black Clover, it's just one episode and it can be just one scene. And you just can't help yourself but think, well, I mean, how much thought was put in this? Because it's like, oh, okay, so he needs backstory. What can it be? Okay, let's be like a mom. So something with mom. Okay, so like mom. And okay, so this guy needs, okay, so like a village. Yeah, okay. And uh, it's just, I don't know. Well, I should also mention how I watched these shows because when I was watching Fairy Tale, it was time when I would give attention, like my whole attention was to watch it, okay? And I remember I, my friend was also watching it and so something happened in one episode, like Erza made a funny face or something. And so I'm telling her, oh, did you notice that in episode 55? And she said, oh, no, because I watched it in the background. And I was like, well, wow, what? <sighs> what? And she's like, well, I'm busy. I need to do other stuff, but I, I also want to watch fairy tales. So I just have it uh, turned on and I do other stuff. So I didn't notice this one frame when Erza made a funny face. And I felt like so offended, like, how dare you? You should just stick to the screen when you are watching it. But then what happened? So last fall, I found a podcast that I just fell in love with. And so they had like about 100 episodes. And in these episodes, they reviewed a lot of anime. And I decided to watch most of them. But I also had to live a life. So I started to watch anime in background. I started to watch it when I'm cooking, when I'm cleaning, and yes, actually making chores now it's more pleasurable, <laughs> it's more fun, but at the same time you don't pay attention to each frame, and that's how I watch Black Clover, and I think it's perfect show for that, because, well, personally, I don't know about you, but I don't want any every anime to be like Attack on Titan, or promised never like like when you when you will put your life away you know and you just go and watch it because you feel like that's the most important thing in the world to watch the show first and black clover even in like culminating episodes when something very serious happens i was very fine to just okay so tonight it's like time to go to bed so I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow. So it never really interfered with my rut routine. And that's awesome because that's actually, I, <laughs> I personally, that's what I want from the show. I don't want to get distracted too much, but at the same time, I want to have fun. And Black Clover has humor. Some, I mean, at around episode 80 was when I gave it 10 stars on my anime list. So... I, I was not rating it, uh, was not rating it, was not rating it, and then it was actually episode 88, and I was like, okay, this show is awesome. So, yeah, I think in the end of the day, I think Black Flower is better. <laughs> I love character design as well. It's so unique, and the colors are like um, more gray and brown, and I never seen the characters like that. And I really enjoy it. Some of the characters are just, wow, it's just, I, I love it. Meanwhile, in fairy tale, I, I mean, I loved fairy tale. I love fairy tale. But it's, it's mostly because of Erza, I should admit. And there is lots of stuff going on there that is just 
wow, really? No, no, don't do that. No, 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 stop. But it's still happening. But and humor is a um, golden fairy tale as well. So I think both of the shows are great. Um, now, in fairy tale, I had moments where I cried, I think. Now, I don't really remember, but yeah, I think um, fairy tale got me more. But overall, both of the shows are great and... If you can tolerate some fan service because of very strong female character, then go watch Fairy Tale. And if you just want something to put in the background and it's a cool and at the same time you will just continue your life normally, but at the same time have fun. And there are some very visual cool moments and some characters have some very nice moments, then watch Black Clover or just watch both. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. Bye.